Today I want to tell you the story of Dandapani. He lived as a Hindu monk for 10 years and his wisdom has transformed my life. After graduating from college, he joined a Hindu monastery in Hawaii. The monastery had rules that all monks needed to follow like being completely separated from their family and friends, dressed in the same way and being celibate. Being celibate means abstaining from sexual behavior with others and with oneself. For most of us, these rules might seem absurd, but from the perspective of monks, these things help them conserve their energy. We all have a finite amount of energy available each day and we must decide how to spend it. Our energy can go to people, to our work, to things, to activities and so on. Dandapani says that by having few possessions, limiting contact with others and being celibate, the monks were able to accumulate energy and channel it into their spiritual pursuits. Dandapani also explains that energy is what allows you to manifest the life you want. By consciously choosing where you invest your energy, you can create the life you desire. Dandapani never says that any form of sexual expression is bad, he only explains that by abstaining from it, you will accumulate energy and you'll be able to invest it into things that you want to manifest in your life. Another way to interpret this is that any form of sexual compulsion, like watching adult content and PMO, is basically a compulsive way to waste your energy. Obviously, I'm not suggesting you become a monk. I'm sharing how monks view sexual activity to give you another perspective on why compulsively PMOing is ultimately detrimental to your goals and aspirations. Because the absolute undeniable truth is that PMO will always leave you exhausted. Why? It's because your body releases a cocktail of chemicals when you climax. These include hormones like oxytocin and prolactin, which produce a profound sense of relaxation and sleepiness. In addition, it takes a lot of energy to produce sperm. Just think about it, it has the potential to create another human. That's one of the reasons why men need to take in more calories per day than women. The thing is that sperm production doesn't just stop when you stop masturbating. These cells use energy themselves, so when their energy supply is gone, these cells die and need to be replaced. And remember, we all have a finite amount of energy each day and we must decide how we will use it. Will you waste it by being a slave to your sexual desires? This is not good or bad, but it will produce certain outcomes. Or will you invest your energy into creating something that matters to you like a side business? Again, this is not good or bad, but it will produce certain outcomes. The real question is, which outcomes do you want in your life? And brother, if you can't seem to get rid of your addiction to adult content, today I want to invite you to the free training that my awesome friend Josh Hudson is hosting. Josh is a certified therapist specialized in adult content addiction and he has more than 10,000 hours of practice helping men overcome their addiction to adult content. He has lots of positive reviews and testimonials of men who have successfully quit adult content and it's all thanks to Josh's strategies, accountability and coaching. So make sure to attend this free training by simply clicking the link below this video brother. I know this training will help Help you get rid of your addiction to adult content. What I highly suggest you is to see your sexual urges, desires, impulses or whatever you want to call them as pure energy that you can use to create the life you want. This is one of the purest and strongest energies that you can feel. If you pay close attention when you're feeling horny, what you're really feeling is full of energy and desire. Sexual energy is creative energy, it can literally move you into creating another human. What I've been trying to do the last 2-3 to three years is seeing my sexual urges from a different perspective. Sure, they have a biological purpose and that's fine, but this doesn't mean that I must act them out in a biological way. I see my sexual energy as the greatest gift I have because I can use this energy to create great YouTube videos on both of my channels, train hard at the gym, build the business of my dreams and feel confident and good enough. Brother, forget about labeling adult content addiction as good or bad or right or wrong. 
see it instead from the perspective of conserving or wasting your energy. I bet this will help you. Brother, if you need help to get rid of your adult content addiction, today I want to give you for absolutely free my affirmations for self-discipline and access to my exclusive video on the top 10 tips to quit adult content forever. My affirmations will help you fill your mind with empowering beliefs so you learn how to control yourself and master your desires. In my exclusive video, I share the most important tools, tactics, and resources you can use to get rid of your adult content addiction right now. You can get both of these things completely free by simply clicking the link below this video, brother.